Hello, everybody. We are the Token Minorities. I'm Jolt, and I'm joined by my buddy, Styx. And he's here to kick my butt once again. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so today we have a semi-standard OU match, I guess. Mostly OU teams, a few UU. And yeah, stuff. He, I yeah. actually am trying out a team. He just... I just made up in about 10 minutes. minutes, yeah. So we'll see what happens on this, but... Ah, uh, uh, those blue eyes. Sexy, right? <laughs> anyway, um, I lead off with my Rotom watch because I felt it was the best lead on my team, seeing what he had. And, and I just off. lead with T-Tar because actually this thing does not bind, mind being burned because three out of its four attacks are not physical. Uh, I run really? the Tyranoboa set, I think, Ooh, with a Stealth Rock. And I actually run Ice Beam and Fire Blast because if they see one, they don't expect the other. Yep, that would have gotten me. Luckily, I don't think it really did anything to me in this particular match. But um, I switch into my Azumarill, knowing it's a pretty safe switch into Tyranitar, assuming that he wouldn't go for like a Stone Edge or something really And at painful. this point, I ask if he's banned, and he's like, oh yeah, I am. But uh, yeah, as you can I, I'm see. Obviously not. <laughs> as you can see, this play rough does not take me out. At first, I thought, wow, Tyranitar's bulky, but then I realized, oh wait, he's just I was liar. trying to trick him. <laughs> I didn't say, what, a couple times in this match? No, I tricked you in a different No, that was That's Endeavor. Was. Uh, I don't want you. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see that one later. Um, yeah, he goes for play rough here, and right now I take this as the perfect opportunity to switch in my new little toy that I wanted to try out. And on this opportunity, I go for a belly drum, I believe, or do I just go? No, no, no you go for. I go for yeah, play rough again. I'm sorry. Yes. And at this point, my mummy kicks in, which gets rid of his huge power. And that uh, made me sad. And in this generation, Cofagragus got uh, toxic spikes, which I uh, through breeding, which I love to use in general. So I mean, had I not. Had this not been my first match, Here's where I using, belly drum. <laughs> had this not been my first match using uh, using toxic spikes on this set, I would have gone for the Will O Wisp or even the Haze. But because I had a new toy, I wanted to try it, and unfortunately, I am going to pay dearly for it. In the form of an Azumarill Smash. Yeah, and he already belly jetted me once before, but only <laughs> this time he does not have huge power. Big which... change here, folks. <laughs> Big change. <laughs> But yeah, I kind of enjoy seeing his own sandstorm work against him there in the beginning. Um, but yeah, I think I just go for a play rough here and yeah. uh, do the works, and down goes Kofagrigus. And I was actually shocked that this took it out, but I mean, like, then again, yeah, that is a six, plus though. six. Yeah. But, and my sandstorm runs out, sad time. Yeah. So I send in my Rotom because it can take anything as Rimmel has to throw at it and just KO back with Volt Switch. Yeah, and I feel like because I have Mummy and I've already burned my Citrus Berry, there's really no reason to switch. Um, I just kind of stay in and hope he doesn't take me out with something. But, <laughs> but I do take him out. He takes me out, so that's And sad. at this point, I go into Tyranitar. Oh, yeah, just because I... Yeah, Tyranitar will set up Sandstream again, and he's pretty much run his use. I mean, maybe I can get a hit off on something, but I run a sassy nature, so it's probably unlikely. not. A <laughs> little bit slow. Um, I believe I go into my Charizard here to change the weather because I didn't really like the sand, and I knew that his Tyranitar was going to go down. Ah, uh, those Stealth Rocks, though. But the Stealth Rocks. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have packed a Spinner or a Defogger on this team, but I wasn't really thinking about that at the time. Um, anyways, I do go ahead and Mega Evolve here and uh, set up the Sun, as I mentioned before. And he does go for an Overheat, yeah, which I has a... Yeah, switch because I thought he might want to keep his sand. Um, but he did just stay in and sack it. And uh, remember that uh, Overheat has a 90% accuracy. That oh. is a very accurate, very powerful fire move. And at this He's going to drill anything <laughs> <that I> touched. <laughs> and at this point, I go into my uh, Thunderous. And I made a really stupid overprediction here, and I go into my Exedrill predicting his Tyranitar switch in. Yeah, but, so this worked out pretty well for me. I did just leave in uh, Charizard here because I didn't have a Defog, and I knew that he was likely... Or uh, that... Uh, he wasn't going to live another hit coming in anyways. Um, so, I just yeah. thought he, he wasn't going to let his Mega die that early. Yeah. So, Very bad over prediction on my part, which that was actually nice. really, really cost me because Excadrill, eh, Excadrill would have done work on his team. Yes, it would have. <laughs> Especially Mold Breaker because of his Rotom. And yeah. at this point, I just go into my own. Yeah. I go ahead and make the switch here into Porygon 2, knowing that it's a pretty safe uh, switch into any Rotom set. And it gets poisoned, And it gets yay. poisoned. It a poisoned Porygon is a happy Porygon. Nope, it wasn't toxic, though, so that was nice. That made me happy. <laughs> See, I actually prefer one layer of Toxic Spikes really? over two, because just that initial residual damage does... Yeah, it's more in that way. 
And also, I don't plan on keeping that poor gun around very long. Uh, at this point, I go into my <laughs> own Charizard, which I... Which terrified me. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Uh, I actually miss this one, and it has solar power instead of blaze, but that actually really works out at this point. Because yeah. I'm able to take out the Porygon 2 with a Fire Blast. So that was kind of sad. It was a crit. I don't think it mattered. Even it, if it did, yeah. I was going to die to poison anyway. Uh, I believe I just went for a Discharge on that turn to try to paralyze it. So it's it's no big deal. But I go into Latios knowing that I am faster than Charizard. Um, and it really won't be able to hit me that hard, barring Dragon Pulse. Yeah. Um, but he switches into his Rotom once yeah. again. This was where not having Tyranitar kind of hurt. And he goes I for, go for a Dragon, dragon dance. Yeah, I dance. brought a very strange set. I saw it in my box. I brought it in on Pokebank. And I'd never used this set before, so I decided to give it a shot here. Why not? It's a randoms match. And, and I had actually yeah. heard of this set before, except it was a it was a mixed attacker with Earthquake and then special dragon moves to fix its speed. Because uh, I think that's the only... Oh, apart from Calm Mind. Right. This is the only speed boosting move it gets. But I saw him go for Dragon Dance and I just decided, hey, let's Wisp it. Yeah, Why I was not? not too happy about that. So I just <laughs> keep going for Dragon Dances here knowing that my attack is just not too good at the moment. And I don't want to switch in anything at all because, I mean... I have a Dragon Dancing Latios in my face. Never thought I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd use one either. <laughs> and I go for Pain Split, which actually helps him because I thought at any moment he was going to go for the attack. What a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, I just leave my Rotom in because it can take physical hits better than anything else on my team. Yeah. And I can just go for some Hydro Pumps to get minimal damage, but nice damage nonetheless. Yeah, it is uh, kind of interesting that I was able to get four Dragon Dances up, although I was burned. And then I go for an Outrage here on this Rotom, and it still won't take it out. It is crazy. Latios is just not a physical attacker, folks. Don't try this set at home. Although Mega Latios might be. Mega right? Latios is a different story, but we're not we're not to that stage yet. Yeah, although <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. Like, adaptability on that? It, oh. it doesn't get adaptability. Levitate. Oh, it does it's not? still levitate, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Um, that would have been a that little, little broken, broken. A little broken. And... Hey, I actually take Latios out with Rotom's Hydro Pump. Hydro Miss, rather. No. <laughs> oh, I don't take it out, never mind, but will o does. Yeah. <laughs> On a related note, uh, I have had the honor of taking out an Eviolite Chansey with nothing but a bold Rotom Wash with Hydro Pump. Uh, everyone, please step and back switch. and give our buddy Sticks a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on. So here I just bring in Charizard Y, knowing that I live at 1 HP, and I'm actually quite glad that it did stick around now because I'm able to peg this Rotom with the Solar Beam, and that'll easily take it. I had nothing else to take it. I mean, I had my own Charizard, but I wanted that as, at as good a health as possible. Yeah, this thing is such an uber, though, folks. Enjoy it while you can. It's not going to be both. You both long. Charizards are going to be gone. At least one, very hopefully soon. both. And at this point, I just send in my Thunderous to finally get that kill off. <laughs> yeah. So this time, <sighs> I'm, I do exactly what I did before. I'm just going to stay in there, and he does take me out. So that's a little bit sad, and he gets the crit, so I'm calling hacks on that. But it's okay. That totally matters. <laughs> Absolutely. But he goes into his Tyranitar, and I was actually terrified right now because I thought he would go for the Dragon Dance, which explains my explains why I go for the taunt on this turn. Wow, there's a lot of after turn effects. Yeah. I thought I timed that better. So, but, uh, funny story yeah. on this Tyranitar. Um, it has an Assault Vest and a Sassy Nature, and it also has Stealth Rock, and if you know a little bit about Pokemon, you know that if you have Assault Vest, you cannot use non-damaging moves. So I made a little bit of a mistake on that. I kind of just pulled this out of my uh, box that I brought in from Pokebank and forgot to look at the move set. I didn't so. find it. <laughs> It, but yeah, if I would have had Stone Edge or Rock Slide or any rock move for that matter, I probably could have taken down the Thunderous. Um, uh, at this point, I I'm, I know that I have the game in the bag because I still have my un Mega Evolved Charizard uh, Charizard Y in my party, and I just have to get as much damage off as I can. Switch Charizard in, set up the Sun, uh, kill something with Solar Beam, and go from there. Uh, Fun fact, a sassy max special defense, max HP Tyranitar with Assault Vest in the sand still gets one-shotted by Char a timid Charizard Y's Focus Blast. And that proves that Mega Charizard Y is indeed an uber. <laughs> but either way, I just go for the solar safe solar beam here. I mean, it would have killed the Tyranitar or the, or the Rotom. Right. I mean, he makes a smart play. Yeah, save the Tyranitar to uh, get the sand back up there on the last turns, forcing him to use his Focus Blast instead of just the Solar Beam to try to take yeah. me out. But I mean, once again, I'm not too worried because I have because he doesn't have Stone Edge as he showed before. Uh, I have two turns to go for Focus Blast, and while it is known as Focus Miss, uh, it has served me well in the past, and I. 
I mean, it has 70% accuracy, which is more than 50%. And so I have a 30% chance to miss on the first turn and 30% on the next turn, which is a combined total of, I think, 9%? Am I doing the math right? Something like that, yeah. Which, I mean, I have as much chance Still of... dodge. <laughs> I have as much chance of losing this battle as I do of missing a Galvantula's uh, Thunder. Or just, I have more of a chance of missing Overheat as I do. And so, right now, I mean, I'm not worried. I just... I really don't have anything to worry... Well, uh, I, I, I don't know if he's coming back, guys. Um, see you next time, I guess. <laughs>